actually morning brew you should go check it out they send it out at 6 12 a.m and it's like your morning brew i love it i look at it from my phone every morning and it tells you everything that's popping in business and even like politics so you won't miss a day of anything so i always start my day with morning brew and a bottle of water if you haven't already go back and watch oh does it it says 100 fuck so like if we do this will it work maybe go back and watch the first vlog <laughs> do your best daily 001 <laughs> It's ridiculous. All right, so pretty much when I don't feel like going to my office, I'm here working and yeah. My daily day really consists of me like going through emails, making sure my clients are on um, are on point with anything. Um, if they need anything from me, whatever, I'm here to answer their questions. I live kind of the life or laptop lifestyle, um, which is like cool, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I missed our call last night, dude. All right, cool. Don't judge me on my picture. It was forever ago. going to Puerto Rico for an event that I'm speaking at um and like like all everybody's gonna be there is like an influencer in like either crypto business startup tech like all of it so I'm gonna like just pitch it to everybody <laughs> yeah. we're going to web summit 2018 baby web summit 2018 in Lisbon Portugal Lisbon Portugal Lisbon Portugal hyperhydration Hyperhydration! 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 Woo! Hyperhydration! Shout out Alex Sharfin. Web Summit 2018, first Puerto Rico though for Disrupt Week. Yeah, that's gonna be the shit. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Like, literally while I was on that call, a potential client is trying to get me to waive my setup fee right now. I cannot. I'm sorry. I, I cannot. Web Summit 2018! Ah! Alright, I should really go work out. It's about to be five. Let's go! Hit the gym! I guess I like have to bring some type of value to this vlog today because like I'm sorry I've had a very very productive day but not very entertaining day I've been on calls all day with my clients um, and onboarding a few new clients and all that stuff but as I'm headed to the gym I'm I'm thinking like the life that I live today and the type of business I've created around my life today would not have been possible even like 10 years ago let alone like 20, right? I'm, I tell people this all the time when I do talks, uh, every, every single time, like, I'm like, yo, <laughs> like, I have little robots working for me. <laughs> like, if I didn't have those robots, I would have to spend money on people. I would have to spend money on training. No, I just build them and I tell them what to do and it works perfect. It's awesome. Um, and like my question to you, just to make this really a productive vlog, is are you ready to be eliminated out of the workforce by robots? 
you know, like 6% of the workforce is actually legit just going to be eliminated by 2021. Like, that's right around the corner. It's 2018, and 2018's almost over. And I'm telling you, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, guys, I, I wouldn't be able to have the business that I do if I didn't build little tiny robots to do minuscule tasks for me. And, like, I build them. That's what universities do to people now. Universities are just, like, little factories to create people robots to be able to complete specific tasks. And, like, are you prepared to not have that security anymore? Are you prepared... Like, oh, uh, I don't, I'm, I always get like so frustrated talking about this because like a lot of people get mad at me when I talk about this, but like, I feel like it's my moral obligation to talk about this. Okay. The, the institution that has been ruling for, for like the past hundred years is dying. It's dying due to innovation. It's, it's dying because there's better way to accomplish things. And it breaks my heart that I have family members that are raising children and not teaching them about programming, not teaching them about the importance of, of problem solving and being creative when you look for new outlets to solve, like new problems to solve. Um, they're, they're teaching them instead, like go to school, get straight A's and, and you'll be successful, which is bullshit. Okay, it's bull fucking shit. I'm a college dropout. Really, I shouldn't have graduated high school. But like my teachers felt probably felt sorry for me or some shit. <laughs> like I'm serious. Like I didn't go to school for like half of my senior year. I almost got expelled because I didn't go. Why didn't I go? Because I made my first $20,000 as a junior doing nothing, sitting on my ass at home with a laptop. <laughs> like what? Like like, I thank God I went through that experience because it made me realize it, it took me out of that matrix of of this college or this school, this institution is going to lead you to success. No, that's BS. You are going to lead you to success. Nobody else. I promise you. And I get just so passionate when I speak about this because I see so many people that are that are brainwashed into thinking that someone else is going to take them to success when like it's all within. And then people come up to me saying, I want to change the world. I want to change the world. And I'm like, what? You want to change the world? Dude, whoa. To change the world, you have to change yourself. That's how you change the world. You got to dig deep within. Be the change you want to see out there i promise you anyways i just wanted to talk about that real quick i'm gonna go hit the gym um and i'm gonna be in puerto rico soon and then i'm going to rome and then i'm going to lisbon and uh, it's gonna be lit fam ladies and tampa rolling in a yoda